Transparent displays, once seen in sci-fi movies about the future, are no longer TVs that can only be seen in exhibitions, but are now part of our living rooms and bedrooms. The transparent display is known to exhibit a transmittance of 38% while being based on the structure of the existing commercially available three-stack white OLED. At first glance, you may think that a transparent material is used unlike general white OLED to produce a transparent display, but it is very difficult with current technology to produce a display like that, and it is produced using a much simpler method than that. Today, we will look at transparent displays, among them, how to make transparent displays based on white OLED. Now, let's start the tech trip. First, let's review the basic structure of white OLED and look at it again. The main component is a circular polarizing plate to prevent the reflection of metal wiring or electrodes by external light, and then a color filter to extract red-green-blue color by filtering white, and a three-stack structure OLED is formed on a glass substrate. And as shown in the video, the circular polarizer has a transmittance of less than 50%, and the color filter has a transmittance of about 30%, and aluminum used as a cathode is a highly reflective metal, so it does not have the property of transmitting light at all. Therefore, the transmittance of the OLED panel made up of tens of millions of pixels with 0% transmittance. It does not transmit light at all. Now, let's look at how to make transparent OLED TVs by changing the structure one by one. It's probably a lot simpler than you think. The most basic and common method for producing transparent displays is based on a patent published in 2010 by Philips of the Netherlands. The drawings in the patent may seem quite complex at first glance, but the content is quite simple. This video is an animation of a patent drawing. A part of the panel consists of pixels that emit light to compose an image, and the other part is composed of a part with high transmittance so that the object on the other side can be seen without a light emitting function. If you enlarge the transparent OLED panel using this principle, it will look like what you see in the video. If you increase the area of the transparent part, the transmittance of the panel will increase as you increase it, but instead, the area of the emitting part decreases by that much, which has an adverse effect on the lifespan. I believe that you have understood the principle of transparent display sufficiently conceptually, and let's talk about the more specific structure. The structure shown on the left side of the image is the structure of white OLED used in OLED TV, and the structure shown on the right side shows the light emitting region that emits light and the transparent non-luminescent region that does not emit light from the transparent OLED. White OLED TV uses aluminum with high reflectivity as the cathode, while transparent OLED uses a transparent cathode similar to the top emission of mobile phone. A cathode is not needed in a non-light emitting region, but if a separate process of not forming the cathode or an additional process of removing the cathode is carried out, the difficulty of the process increases and a factor of price increase is large. It will remain as it is. For the same reason, the multi-layered organic material remains in the non-luminous area. Since the absorption of visible light from organic materials is not very high, it is left as it is instead of being removed through a complicated process. However, before the deposition process, the ITO anode and color filter produced by the photoprocess are processed so that they are not formed in the area that does not emit light without a separate additional process, so the ITO electrode and color filter do not remain in the transparent area. Finally, a circular polarizer that prevents reflection of external light by metal is not used in transparent OLEDs. The circular polarizer also serves to block external light reflection, but more than 50% of the light generated inside the OLED is also absorbed, so it is not used. In addition, since a transparent cathode is used instead of a mirror-like aluminum, the external light reflection by the metal electrode is weakened and the circular polarizer can be removed accordingly. Absorbance is very high and at the same time, the reason to use an expensive circular polarizer disappears. Of course, external light reflection in bright places is clearly visible with the penalty of removing the circular polarizer. This is because transparent cathodes have high transmittance but still contain metallic materials. 
If you have understood the explanation so far, you would have understood that manufacturing a transparent TV using OLED is relatively simple using known materials, rather than using a completely new material or a very complicated process. It can be said that it is a very simple but clever technology that can be produced at a not very high price as long as a large amount of production is secured. I hope that you have a good understanding of transparent TV, and I will end today's video. Goodbye.